Hey everyone, this is Gayatri here. Welcome back to my video tutorial. Today I have a card to share using Altenew's new artist marker refills. These are new releases and I have set A with me. I have a few refills here with me which are from set A. Although I'm showing you the sea glass and the frayed leaf refills, I will be predominantly using the frosty pink and jet black refills for my card today. I also have isopropyl alcohol blending solution and will be working on Upo paper. You see me wearing the gloves here. Pretty soon you will see me remove it because I don't like wearing gloves. Even the smallest glove doesn't fit me. It's a bit too big for me. Anyway, the jet black ink is pretty strong. It's a strong black color. But I want gray. So I added a few drops of jet black uh, alcohol ink into a small bottle and filled the rest of it with isopropyl alcohol to dilute the ink to make the gray color. So to start with, I take a Yupo paper panel and add the diluted jet black ink on Yupo paper, followed by the blending solution to move the ink and then I use the heat tool to move the ink to the place I want and then heat set it. So it, the heat tool basically dries the ink and you have to be really careful using the heat tool on Yupo paper because Yupo paper is plastic paper and then if you use the heat on top of it, it's going to melt. So make sure when you're using the heat tool, you keep it a little far away and not very very close to the paper. Now I see a little bit of hard edge so I add a bit more of the blending solution and then go in with the heat tool to move the ink. Then I repeat the same process using the frosty pink blending solution heat tool to cover a few more areas and going back, back with the uh, diluted jet black ink to fill in the rest of the panel using the exact same process. How beautiful is this panel? I just love the frosty pink and the grey together. I wish I had a bigger Yupo paper to make an art piece um, as a home decor for my house. Okay, I wanted to try the alcohol lift ink on this panel. The refills are anyway alcohol inks and the alcohol lift ink should work on it. So I thought I'll give it a go. The stamp set I'm using for it is called is from the Sketchy Florals stamp set. I love the large floral image in this set. Using Misty I stamp the image onto the panel using alcohol lift ink. Then remove the panel blot the excess ink off with a microfiber cloth and wipe the rest off to reveal the ghost image. Since the colors of the alcohol refill inks I used on my panel are very light in shade, the alcohol lift ink did not give me a bright crisp image. But you can definitely see it on the panel as I blot the excess alcohol lift ink off the panel. I like the subtle ghost image on the background panel because I can then keep the Altenew Artist Marker refill background I made as the highlight of the card. Okay, I trimmed the panel to four and five and a half inch in size. I have a card base and I also have a half an inch by five and a half inch strip of gold glitter cardstock. For the sentiment, I die cut three of the Mega Thanks die using black cardstock. I am going to use the glue to stack and glue them for some added dimension. To assemble the card, I glued the gold glitter strip to the left end of the card front, trimmed the excess off, then glued the alcohol ink panel over the rest of the card front again trimming the excess off. Okay. 
Then I glued the mega thanks stacked die cut vertically. I brushed the sentiment die cut with Nuvo Aqua Shimmer Pen to add some shimmer to the sentiment. For the secondary sentiment, I used For All You Do sentiment from Many Thanks stamp set. I simply stamped the sentiment in black on white cardstock, trimmed it into a strip and adhered it using foam adhesive. I added a few gold sequins to tie in with the gold glitter cardstock. The card is finished. I can use the card either as a portrait version or a landscape ver version because of the placement of the sentiment. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well. I have listed all the supplies I used to make this card below in the description box. Head over to my blog for more close-up photos of this card and I also have another card using Altenew Artist Marker refills. Link is below in the description box. Thanks for watching. Bye.